Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Before we get started, click that like button, turn on notifications, give us a huge thumbs up, and also stay at home. <laughs> Good morning, friends. I'm not a life coach, I'm not a therapist, I'm a mom. It is National Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day. Thank you for all those soldiers that risked their life that day for our freedom. Thank you. Courage to change. December 7th. I used to think that being good to myself meant eating whatever I wanted, buying anything that caught my eye, sleeping only a few hours at night, and avoiding any activity that wasn't fun and exciting. The trouble was that the consequences were very uncomfortable. And when I let myself think about it, I felt I was wasting my life. Today, being good to myself is far more challenging, but the benefits are absolutely wonderful. I attend two or three Al-Anon meetings each week, read my literature daily, and take time out to talk to God. I try very hard to make my serenity more important than any of the circumstances I encounter. I now enjoy wholesome food, exercise in a way that I find fun, and handle money in a more conscientious way. I celebrate my growth. I dance, I draw, and I enjoy wonderful friendships. My lifestyle isn't rigid, nor would I want it to be. I still enjoy spontaneous moments, but today I have them by choice. Today's reminder, I deserve to make choices that let me feel good about myself. It may take a while to see results, but I'm building a life that promotes my health and self-esteem. It's worth the wait. The quote is from George Eliot, quote, the strongest principle of growth lies in human choice, end quote. I'll read that again. The strongest principle of growth lies in human choice. Courage to change. Affirmations for the inner child. It's on choice. I choose what is right for me today. Today I see the range of choices in my life. I didn't have to choose between black and white. I may have red or gold. I do not always have to choose between right and wrong. I may choose the best for me at the time. Dysfunctional families make choices from fear. To minimize the feelings of fear and inadequacy, parents in these families structure all choices as right and wrong. I grew up without choices. There is no free choice when all alternatives are punishing. True alternatives are positive possibilities. Today I will see choices as possibilities. I will explore a range of options and then choose the choices I consider today give me possibilities for tomorrow. Affirmations for the inner child. I hope this helps you on your healing journey. Follow your 